Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, we are a collector and hobby channel which opens a variety of miniatures, blind bags, and other collectibles. And today I'm really excited to take a first look at the new Magic Mixies Mixlings. And I want to thank Moose Toys for sponsoring this video by sending me these three new products to review. And I'm really excited about these. I love my mini figures and I've opened the Magic Mixie Cauldron in the past as well as the refill kit. And they were a lot of fun. So now they are making 40 new Mixling mini figures that are part of the new series one. And you can find them online at walmart.com. And then on July 1st, they should be released to physical stores at Walmart and I'm assuming other retailers as well. So, very curious to see what these look like. The large cauldron is a two pack and these are single figures. So, let's go ahead and get started. First up, we'll start with one of our single packs. These are called the Collector's Cauldron. You get one little guy inside. Oh, look at the artwork. Very cute. And it says, what kind of mixing will you create? Rub the gem and find out. Okay, so the different symbols are their different rarities. And on the Moose Tube Squad YouTube channel, they actually have a cartoon series that you can watch. So that's pretty cool. Definitely lots of new Mixling stuff coming out. Okay, let's get this open. It's perforated here. And then by rubbing the gem, it will reveal your Mixling's rarity. Oh, so you can see that up here. So we have a star, which on the checklist there means it will be a rare. That's cool. And then you can just pop the lid off. And inside, you can really check this, some directions, our wand. And it looks like the wand will help reveal their magical power. That's neat. It's a neat looking one. It looks like he's wrapped in tissue paper, but first let's take a look at the checklist. They actually have a really cute art style. Okay, so first impression, they're, they're pretty cute. I like the whole whimsical kind of fairy tale enchanting animal vibe going on. Wow, there are a lot of them. <laughs> and I like some of their bold colors. So they have different abilities like the vanishers, the spellsters. Look at it, it's like a deer dragon combo. There's gonna be a sparkle magic mega pack, a castle, yikes, there's a, there's a lot. Morphlings, flyers, and enchanters. So those are our categories. Oh, that looks cool, it's like a bunny sheep. <laughs> okay, so inside our first mixing is going to be, oh wow, this is really cool. Look at that. It has like the antlers, but also almost like a dragon tail. These are actually a nice size solid figure. It has some sculpting, almost like the fur detailing. You can feel the texture. And the head turns, the arms do not. So a little movability there. The tail, oh, the tail turns too. That's kind of cool. I love the turquoise, light turquoise blue going on. And on the checklist, we have one of the Spellsters. This is Geckler, which that's a fun name. And then let's see what Geckler does. And this brochure will tell you what each category does. Okay, that's cool. So you need your wand to press the gem on their forehead. Oops, so this is what Spellsters will do. Oh, it looks like they might be glow in the dark. Wait 10 seconds. And sure enough, him and the wand actually glow in the dark. And he actually looks really cool under black light as well. Most of the glow in the dark figures do. That's pretty awesome. Okay, these are definitely growing on me rather rapidly. <laughs> so the spellsters, if they all glow in the dark, are a definite win for me. I don't know about some of the other ones, like the elongated body one. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see what some of the other special features are, but I really like this guy. And what's cool is that, you know, you can put him back in the cauldron. Um, those are reusable. Next up, let's open our two pack 
So this is called the Tap and Reveal Cauldron. And again, two magic mixes inside. Has the rarities there. Ooh, we got a pretty blue gemstone. So for this, we lift the cauldron lid first to find our wand. Okay, so the wand's underneath. Ooh, we have a fancy wand. Ah, come back. <laughs> Here's our wand with a cool turquoise gemstone. And it looks like it has a magnet, so this will be useful for your reveal. Really cool. I, I like the design of it. So then you can remove your, your foam cauldron. You have the same direction booklet. Okay, so it looks like that's one checklist for both um, with the single pack or the two packs. We can then also rub the gem to reveal our rarities. Ooh, it looks like there's gonna be two different rarities. So it's a split rarity. And one's a moon, one's a star. So one's gonna be a common and one's a rare. That's cool. Okay, and through the magic of editing, I'm gonna save you the drama I just went through. So this part is like the bubbling cauldron, but in back, you do need to remove this for it to make the switch and do the reveal. So you can tap it with your wand, pull out the tab in back, and voila, there's our little critters. Ooh, and I like the colors. I like the colors. So inside, yes, we have another little um, spellster buddy. Oh, that's like the color twinsies, which means I think he'll glow in the dark, which yes. <laughs> so on the checklist, we have Goru. He's the common and he's our little buddy to Geckler and he's going to glow in the dark, which is awesome. So I'm not sure if they have anything with this wand since he's glow in the dark, but same thing, tail, poseable, adorable. And then our second one. Oh, here's our. Will you get another one? There's a lot of ones. <laughs> oh, look at that one. Its eyes are a little spooky, but here we go. He's actually cool. He's that bunny sheep I was mentioning. So there's the other one. So it looks like the glow wand. And wow, what a neat figure. Again, you can feel the texture of the fur. He has like a little little lion's tail with a tuft at the end, the sheep or ram's horns, the bunny kind of ears, and the hypnotic eyes. <laughs> On the checklist, this little guy is our rare and he's an enchanter and his name is Griffin, which is a really cute name. So you can take your magnetic wand and touch his gemstone and his eyes change to the less creepy eyes. Oh, that's kind of cool. So the hypnotic enchanting eyes and then the normal eyes. Oh, that's a really cool figure. And then on the inside you do get the checklist and then if you want to reuse this, you can actually just pull this over and then put the tab back. So that's kind of cool. And then if you want to do that again, oh, maybe not. <laughs> so you have to turn it and then reveal. There you go. So you can reuse this. That's kind of cool. And he glows really well even in daylight. So the same little touch points with the paws and the gemstone. And then last up is our single pack cauldron. And it looks like our rarity is going to be the moon, which is a common. Oh, you do get a magnetic wand, so we'll get someone that has some sort of different feature to it. That's kind of neat. And then here is our little blind bag figure. Oh, this one looks really cool. So he looks sort of like this lion dragonfly hybrid. I like the sculpting on the mane. He has some wings. So we have Duska, one of the flyers. He looks really cute. His tail does move and basically you tuck in those wings and with your magic wand, if you hold him like that, give that a tap. Oh, there we go. <laughs> His wings come out. Let's try that one more time. 
There you go. Oh, that's really cute. Now his head does not turn. Here's another look at all our little mixlings we unboxed today. You guys will have to let me know which was your fave and overall what do you think about these new little mini figures? Feel free to leave me a comment down below. As for me, I think they're a really creative, whimsical, kind of mythical animal hybrid minifigure. I do like, like the bunny ram and the deer something going on there. Um, I like the glow in the dark feature the best. Some of the features we didn't see the morphlings, but they're the ones that elongate. We saw enchanters, flyers, and then vanishers. Oh, it looks like it'll be color change. So I could probably do without some of the, the gimmick stuff. It would be cool if they all just like were glow in the dark or black lights. Um, but overall, I really like the design and I just think they're, they're unique and kind of still contain that element of the magic mixies with those little mini cauldrons. So that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.